Good morning. Today for No Tick November, we will be watching a very epic documentary video about the 1978 Santa Clara Vanguard drumline and their drum instructor, Fred Sanford. And yes, there's gonna be marching bells and marching timpani in this. Holy crap, that is nuts. Yep, this is definitely 1978. <laughs> oh yeah, so those of you who might not know, Fred Sanford, he's like a legend. <laughs> he has the, uh, the DCI percussion trophy named after him, and he was a huge influence in Drumline back in the 70s, and is pretty much like one of the main reasons like what developed Drumline into what it is now in course style marching. Oh yeah, those Mylar heads. Heck yeah. Oh, they're even dudding. Nice. The Woo. purpose of this film is to show Santa Clara's secrets in building a top section. I'm convinced that the core's success is a result of their fantastic control and sense of time. We use this series of exercises in our program to develop technique, control, and a perfect sense of time. Now, let's do this for the chops. Put the energy into it. Oh, there he is. One, the man himself. Two, one, two, ready, and. Oh, man, that technique is wild. It's like 90% wrist, like no arm at all. As well as timing. Oh, how things have changed. Also, it's very interesting they're not using traditional grip and they're using slings. That's... I don't think I've ever seen that before. Ready and go and... I know the quality is not the best, but keep in mind this was from 1978, and whoever uploaded this, you know, from VHS and converted it to digital form, thank you so much. Um, there's a bunch of different re-uploads on YouTube. I'm not sure who the original was, but good job. Strive to develop a sense of togetherness and oneness with time. Timing is what it's all about. Santa Clara works on roll figures by doubling an underlying 16th note pattern. They mix short rolls and drag figures with 16th notes to ensure timing. Now, guys, on this flam passage, make sure you're holding the grace notes down and keep the rhythm even. Keep okay, your grace notes, notes down. Notes. Here we go. Mark, time, hut, and one, two, one, two, three, four. So much <laughs> wrist. <laughs> yeah, technique has changed a lot since then. <laughs> yeah, here we go. That marching timpani line. so cool. <laughs> Let's try this exercise again and make sure you pay special attention to that eighth note, okay? It's got to be smooth and it's got to be even. Here we go. Ready? Mm -hmm. Take four. Mark, time, hut, and one and two and three and four. Let's try it again. Take four. I just love these kind of videos, like watching, you know, the magic get made. <laughs> so interesting. I know Flow Marching does a lot of these, like, uh, mic'd up tile style videos also. Timing. It's, it's timing. Timing. Everything we do is to improve timing. Yeah. this exercise, make sure you're watching hand and wrist positions and getting a good motion with the fingers. Let's try it. Ready? Yes, that count off. Oh man, in unison timpani parts? That just sounded like a rumble there. I don't know if it's video quality or, or what. Let's get you, is that your note that you're uh, trying to get onto? Okay. That's a B flat that you're playing there, Rick? You're playing the B flat. Yeah. 
Okay. Oh man, yeah, they gotta tune their drums while marching around the field. That's just that, that's wild. That's crazy. So bring it up. There we go. Now, fluidity of this line. Bum 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 bum. That's the most important aspect about it. Listen close. Ready? One, two, three. One, ready, and. Yo. Oh, they're doubling the melody. That is amazing. <laughs> hey, usually timpani is just like, you know, supporting like the low end, but... <laughs> Yo, those guys are killing it on the melody right there. Oh yeah, bass now. You know, I want, are there techs, like, for the section? Usually you'll have like your caption head and your... Section text. Bass drums are the rhythmic enforcement and support of the section. They have to be solid. Yep. Woo! Yeah, I think this was like the beginning era of the split bass drums. As in like the tonal bass drums, like playing different parts, getting the pitches. music, bass oh, drums yeah. can play technical parts to add support to the music. That's the uh, famous bass drum cadence right there. Apparently he's been around for a really long time. Timing in Santa Clara is always reinforced by marking time while playing. Okay, now, for the most part, it's good, except some of the triplet speeds are varying, and that's why it's starting to create some little spaces in it. And it happened right off the bat. One... Two, one, two, three, and... Ah, ah, right there. Okay, Dwayne, did you hear it coming down? Yes. One... Oh, yeah. Fix it, Fred. Get one, in there. Two, ready, go. Notice the bass drums use two different mallets. The dark heads are for soft, pretty sounds, and the white heads are for hard, articulate okay. sounds. Uh, okay, better. Two, three, four. Yep, symbols too, yeah. You know, the thing I'm noticing, like, everyone's wearing jeans. Like, this is the middle of the summer, right? It's like 100 degrees out. As well as for sound. Here they perform a fan movement. We choke the symbols for different sounds. Symbol players must develop rhythmic skills also. Those symbols look gigantic. Holy crap. Two, three, four. <laughs> the triplet pattern, we're going to start. Ah, the triple tom. We'll slowly then increase the speed of it. It's the Let's grandfather it of the of modern day tenors. Tempo. And one, two, one, two, ready, and. No, I'm wondering, does he have a staff? Is he, like, the only percussion? instructor in this whole this is like 30 freaking people this like exercise develops that's a whole lot for one guy to deal with drum to drum yeah yeah i get it Man, those drums are all so super high up, like at their nipples, that's wild. <laughs> Usually you want it like down at, at your belt level. But they're killing it anyways. We're gonna take the paradiddle pattern, the syncopated paradiddle pattern that shifts the beat, okay? You know which one, let's try it. One. Oh, cool transition there. Now we're all in uniform. Very magical. Here we adapt the syncopated parallel exercise to the full section. Everyone gets to work on timing together. We use this as a warm-up to build control and to give the full ensemble an experience of togetherness and oneness with time. Oh, yeah. Dude, I think Fred Sanford is the only <laughs> in percussion instructor for this entire group. Like... I haven't seen any other techs out here. That is, that is pretty wild. 
Like, usually you'll have, like, one tech working, like, with each section. Like, you know, one person this snares, bass, tenors, cymbals, really <laughs> timpani, apparently. It's just crazy that one guy is in charge of all these people and able to, you know, have such a successful now, program. Holy, holy crap, man. <laughs> That is such a 1978 part right there. We have to keep a clear definition of a 16th note triplet to make this thing work, okay? And that's what I, I seem to lose in this part. For some reason, yeah. it's like the drags tend to close themselves up. That double sticking is like... And you're After we get the bugs out of each section, we put the full ensemble together to work on musical interpretation. One, two, ready, and... Okay, oh, yep, we got our uh, marching bells in here now. Yeah, there they are. <laughs> Woo! Killing it. Okay, what, we got two bells and two xylophones? of building a drum section are much like any other skill. Timing and control. Bravo, bravo. That's a fantastic documentary right there. Yeah, it is pretty crazy how far the marching percussion section has come in just, what's this, like 40 years? Yeah, that's like not that much time. Like there's been huge advancements. You know, this was before like a front ensemble was even allowed. Like nowadays, the timpani, the bells, the xylophone, the marimba, all that is just stationary in the front. You don't have to march any of that. And for me, it's just super cool seeing something like this, like what it was like back in the day, like all these, you know, different sets of challenges they had to go through. Apparently there's no drum techs. I don't, maybe they just didn't show the drum text they wanted to highlight Fred Sanford I'm not really sure if anyone knows more about that please let me know I think that is insane if just one guy was in charge of that whole group of people that was like 30 35 people something like that like I have enough trouble like managing a six-person drum line like I couldn't imagine being in charge of that many people all by myself well, I hope you enjoyed this throwback video. I think it is very important that we know our marching percussion history. So, if you enjoyed this, make sure that you click that subscribe button, ring that liberty bell, and click that like button. And also consider buying a custom t-shirt such as this one. I will leave that link in the description. And, have a good morning.